So what is going on guys and in this video I'll be talking about basically my thoughts on this new Call of Duty. We've had some proper time now to play it and um, I just want to talk about what I'm thinking about what I think people's response to this game is and obviously just some stuff about it. And the first thing I will say is obviously this game is a bit of a cash grab right but that doesn't mean it's actually bad and I'm proper like getting sick and tired of like what I'd say is the new thought process of like just people in these games. I'm just trying to think it's like as, as, a, as a developer, like I'm not a developer of games, but as a developer who like is pursuing like software engineering and all that, when I develop things, it can be extremely hard. Obviously, I would say to know what people want, right? And I think if I was the developers of Call of Duty right now, I would be just extremely frustrated because it feels like there is nothing they can do to win in these scenarios anymore. They literally are at, like a, I would say like there's no stick or twist or anything. It's just like whatever they do, people want to hit. I mean, you've got to get to the back down to the point as well, right? Is that when they do change up the game to try and make it different, people are, are outraged. And they say, no, this is not Call of Duty that we know. So when they go back to the basics, it's all, this is just boring old Call of Duty. And yes, they, they, they get paid good money. They probably come up with different ideas, right? But I don't know. I, I literally couldn't think of any other way of how they can make these games more interesting. I think the game that we've got given is really good. Like so far, it is just the perfect blend between MW19, the original MW3, and MW2. This is a uh, is a good good game. Yeah, uh, yes, it's not perfect. Yes, it should have came out when it should. This should have been the original MW2 that came out. I don't deny that, and I think that obviously there've been lots of mistakes, and I can't deny that. But you can't outright just say this is a shit game because you hate Activision now, and Call of Duty is a franchise because you think it's big because. Ultimately, people these days, man, I just feel like it's always big as bad. And if it's popular, then I have to go against the grain because it's oh, it's popular and I want to act a bit different. It's okay to like something that is popular. And this is a very popular game. And I've made a very good, I would say a good game. And people just hate it for absolutely no reason. There are, like I'm saying, when I say hate, I'm saying that loose, loosely in the sense that there are issues. But I'm saying where, this, where there are not issues and people just hate it because it's Call of Duty and they're going to just make these issues 10 times worse. I think one example I would say of improvements that need to be made is definitely 150 health. It just feels too long to time for the time to kill. And while I do enjoy the MW2 maps, the MW2 maps with 150 health just don't work. And that's in my opinion. Because I just think that game was made for a time where you had like 100 health and you'd absolutely rip through players. You know what I'm saying? And it just doesn't work these days. I think if it was 120, that gives, you know, the better players more chance. The good and the, the worst players more chance to get kills as well. And the good players more chance to get kills. 120 health would be sound. 125. But um, 150 is just too much, I think. As well as, like, let's be honest, a lot of the improvements that they have made is what the community, like, literally asked for. It's like, oh, we want better movement to improve the movement. We want better, like, you know, gunplay and all that. It's all improved. Like, for me, at the time as well, not many, like MW19 was a was a great game, but at the time when it originally came out, not many people liked it, and they were and it was still like oh it's a big change, it looks great, but you know, we're not sure about it, and it definitely grew on people more than they've realised, and I think it will ha probably having the same scenario right now. Obviously, it was on, it will be a lot of Warzone dependent. Warzone and COVID massively improved Call of Duty, made them the franchises that they want to were again, right? But there's no denying that this game is literally brought is what we wanted i would say it's what i wanted i wanted i literally wanted mw2 uh, um, like mw2 mw19 mw3 mixed together and that's what i got i feel like a lot of people just don't just want to hate just for hating sake obviously there's i'm not i'm not i can't deny it, there's definitely some massive lazy aspects in this game again the 70 pound price tag is ridiculous for this i mean it should not have been 70 pound but activision is trying to cash out that's just what corporations do. I know, I know it's at the consumer's fault. I mean, it's at the consumer's price, but that's just what you know uh, these companies are gonna do. It doesn't change the fact that it can be a good product and be a cash grab. Second of all, as well, um, like the, I was gonna say, the new ways of like grinding camos and, and uh, like getting weapons. I think that's just like all just to delay the process to make you play the game more. But like. I don't like that at all. I don't like the way you get new. Yeah, I don't like the way you you get the new camos. I mean, um, I keep saying camos. Fucking hell, uh, guns. Like you have to play games to activate points and then get them. That's such a shit way of doing it. That's just a way to keep us playing. Obviously, again, that's a bad aspect of this game. But it's 
It's just minor, it's all that is minor. Ultimately, COD comes down to the gunplay. Is the gunplay fun? And a minus the 150 health, yes, this game is fun. It's satisfying to play with. I can't lie, when like the hit marker sounds satisfying, the kill sounds satisfying. In this game, when I'm playing it, I feel unsatisfied. I can't play for like, you know, six hours longer. But I'm not gonna play any game for six hours. I can play for like two, three hours, you know, one, two, three hours, and then I'm done. But that is what I need. That's all I need from COD. And we take everything that we've got here. I see it is a great place for Warzone to, you know, take the button and make this game just a bit better. I don't I don't know if it will be ever better than MD nineteen. But MD nineteen had a lot of time to cook. I mean this game is brand new. And um, people I think they're definitely more harsh than they need to be. And I just think people are more harsh than like everything these days, like it's just never it's just never good enough. It's always something um that needs to be more and ultimately and this is the fact of the fact of the matter is if you got given the games that you got given back in the day i don't think people would be happy if you got given mw2 that game while it was really good really fun it was good for its time in the sense that your nostalgia is 100 percent carrying you through i know that's what you don't want to realize but if you were getting noob tube 24 7 getting absolutely one tapped by you know like these ridiculous you know guns i mean a lot of the guns were actually like two bullets to the head I mean, two bullets at the body, and you'd be fuming if that's what was in this game now. Every, I mean, look at any gun that used to come out when MW19, and it was like, oh, the new meta, you know, two bursts is coming out. Obviously, a lot of the guns were meta back in MW, uh, MW2, MW2, but if you were to get that now, you probably would be fuming. It was a fun game, but you'd probably not be happy with what you got. You want, you want a more balanced gameplay, and that game was balanced. was not really that balanced. I would say there was definitely guns that you used and guns that you didn't use. Another like thing um, is people just getting with the water and complaining is like I would say the gun, the gunsmith system, like that has been vastly taken back. I mean, in terms of attachments and that and perks and all, it's just sound. It's easy. It's like it's not hard. Before they they're trying to get too complicated with it. MW19 was probably the, like this. They smashed it. MW uh, MW2 2022. They were like, oh well, let's try and make it different. And I'll agree. They overcomplicated it. I didn't like that game, but MW3 is the perfect balance again, not the perfect balance, but it's a balance between like you know, good amount of perks, nothing too special. We don't need much, and like back in the day, MW2, in MW2, there's just so many twos in MWs, right? There was not much, so I don't know. I'm, I just think that like, people complain too much these days and need to be more appreciative of what they have got as well. And I just think this game is just not as bad as everyone wants to make out to be, and it's not perfect, but they everything that's wrong with this game they can change like very quick and i know like um they're not cosmetics and all that that's just all minor stuff like no one people will complain all oh, like this game is meant to be a tactical shooter but they've got like, Nicki minaj in right obviously that's it's just stupid as fuck that they have Nicki minaj in this card game but you're not forced to buy it you're not forced to use it and just because Nicki minaj is in the game doesn't mean you have to be even caring about the game it's just a skin, so I just think like it's just too much like complaining sometimes and just being more about like oh just appreciate that this game is actually decent and like it is playable and it's fun when you have when you you know have time and actually just remember reminding me as well the one thing that I think they do need to change is which they've already said they're doing as well is just lowering SP men and lowering the health and I don't think lower the health but if you're playing Warzone it doesn't matter really because you're gonna be it's up against three plates. But if you lower the SPMM a bit, this game will be ridiculously fun. I mean, ultimately, these bots that are, you know, these absolute shit players, they're always going to get shot on, to be honest. I mean, they'll get better and better and better, but, like, there's always a balance and they're used to dying a lot. And the people who get kills and that, they're probably used to always getting kills, because ultimately, there's good players and there's bad players. But you can't always punish the good players just because there's bad players. So just lower the SPMM, let the good players have fun, and people, those people would honestly enjoy this game so much more, so... There's definitely just a few things that need to change and people will be happy, so I don't know. This game, I just wanted to say, like, I'm sick of the complaining. Um, just enjoy the game that you've got, because it, it could be way worse. I mean, look at MW2, one before, and just honestly be optimistic for once, as um, gamers, I'd say, because I'm just starting to get sick of, like, literally everything It's always. It's shit, it's shit, it's shit, it's shit. It's just this, I would say, nihilistic uh, viewpoint this, like, society has now, while... I want us to go back to being more optimistic about things we've got. So yeah, I do. That's just me having a little rant and, um, about this new MW19. I mean M MW20, MW3. Um, so I hope you do enjoy this video and just let me know about what you think in the comments. Am I waffling or am I making some decent points? You let me know. So thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye bye.